Here in this masjid, a young man came to me and he said, Shaykh, he was about to do something haram, a business which is not allowed. And I told him, have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ittaqillah, I said to him, and fear Allah azza wa jal. And think twice about, it is much better to please your wife who forcing you, it was his wife actually, in his back to buy a house in a way that he believes it's absolutely haram. And to involve in a business that he knows absolutely it's haram. And he said, she putting so much pressure on me. I said, who you will have taqwa from more? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or your wife? Then he said, Allah azza wa jal. And I said, just tell your wife that, that both of us, if we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than poverty, if we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anyone else, and we do what we know and we believe is correct and right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never put us down. Not in uh, less than four months, he came back to me and he told me that in Highway 10, where they were fixing the I-10, they came to his land, one of the contractor, and put a huge load of sand. And they offered him to put that sand in his land, and they will offer to be inspected for, a, to guarantee for 99 years that it is not contaminated. And guess what? They gave him about a quarter million dollars just to put that sand in his land. And he said, Sheikh didn't stop here. Well, after they put that mountain of sand, which made my land very beautiful, in the area there is a developer who came and started purchasing the sand from me. He said, Wallahi, the trucks will come from this door to basically unload the sand, and I will let it go from the other door to, and I, this way it comes with money, goes out with another amount of money. And he made about a million dollars that year. And this is just not a, a single story. There is so many. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even sometimes the ata, not necessarily to be a money. It could be a satisfaction in your heart. But if you do this because you do it for the sake of more money to come, you're not doing it for Allah. You're doing it for the reward. Someone said, Shaykh, I tried it, I didn't get any money. Yeah, because you did it for the money. You didn't do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you do it sincerely for Allah Azza Jal, Allah will never put you down. 